science, for me, gives a partial explanation for life. Insofar as it goes, it is based on fact, experience and experiment. You look at science, or at least, talk of it, as some sort of demoralizing invention of man, something apart from real life, and which must be cautiously guarded and kept separate from everyday existence. While the biological properties of deoxypin 2's nucleic acid suggest a molecular structure containing great complexity, X-ray diffraction studies described here, show the basic molecular configuration has great simplicity. The results suggest a helical structure which must be very closely packed containing probably two, three or four coaxial nucleic acid chains per helical unit and having the phosphate groups near the outside. In my view, all that is necessary for faith is the belief that by doing our best we shall succeed in our aims, the improvement of mankind. My method of thought and reasoning is influenced by a scientific training, if that were not so my scientific training will have been a waste and a failure. Conclusion, big helix in several chains, phosphates on outside, phosphate phosphate interhelical bonds disrupted by water. Phosphate links available to proteins. We wish to discuss a structure for the salt of deoxyribose nucleic acid. DNA this structure has novel features which are of considerable biologic interest. But science and everyday life cannot and should not be separated. I see no reason to believe that a creator of protoplasm or primeval matter, if such there be, has any reason to be interested in our insignificant race in a tiny corner of the universe, and still less in us, as still more insignificant individuals. Again, I see no reason why the belief that we are insignificant or fortuitous should lessen our faith. In my view, all that is necessary for faith is the belief that by doing our best we shall come nearer to success and that success in our aims, the improvement of the lot of mankind, present and future, is worth attaining. I agree that faith is essential to success in life, success of any sort, but I do not accept your definition of faith, i.e. belief in life after death. I maintain that faith in this world is perfectly possible without faith in another world. What's the use of doing all this work if we don't get some fun out of this? Traveling around in a little tin box isolates one from the people and the atmosphere of the place in a way that I have never experienced before. I would willingly go more primitive if it were necessary to preserve my freedom. Your faith rests on the future of yourself and others as individuals, mine in the future and fate of our successors. Anyone able to believe in all that religion implies obviously must have such faith, but I maintain that faith in this world is perfectly possible without faith in another world. Your theories are those which you and many other people find easiest and pleasantest to believe, but so far as I can see, they have no foundation other than they leave to a pleasanter view of life. 